The Ricoh MPC 2011 is one of my favorite copiers. Affordable, economical to run, and usually free of major software issues. It had always worked flawlessly, until today, when the SC-860 error suddenly appeared. And honestly, that worries me a bit. Possible causes? A faulty NVRM, a controller issue, poor contact between PCB boards, or perhaps just a failed hard drive. Error. SC-860 indicates a controller malfunction, but there's no need to panic. It's best to proceed methodically, checking each section step by step. I'll start with the simplest and least expensive option, disconnecting the HDD. Your Ricoh copier can operate without the hard drive, so I'll start by disconnecting it. The boot process will take longer, and scanning and network functions won't be available, but this should help narrow down the diagnosis and check whether the hard drive is the cause of the issue, provided, of course, that the machine starts up. After turning on the copier without the hard drive installed, the error code still appears, but the machine automatically started printing previously queued jobs, likely older print tasks that were pending before my visit. This is a good sign, suggesting that part of the printing system is functioning correctly. After disconnecting the hard drive, the machine operates, naturally indicating a disk error. I am aware of this, as I disconnected it myself. However, the device comes to life and starts printing, which is a positive sign. Access to the service mode is still not possible, but the system is gradually improving. Everything points to a disk malfunction, but in the meantime, the machine is printing more and more of the older, archived jobs at an increasing speed. This indicates that, despite the disk issue, part of the printing system is still functioning correctly. I am waiting for the machine to print the entire job history, allowing it to automatically clear its memory, and only then will I turn off the device, once nothing else remains to be printed. It is now time to replace the disk. Of course, I will install a used disc, as purchasing a new, original Rico disc does not make sense due to its extremely high cost. Please note not to install a disc with higher capacity, as the device will not function properly. Replacing the disc is boring and doesn't require any commentary, so I'll focus on the procedure while you enjoy some nice, pleasant background music.
In my device, copying is now working, meaning the scanner starts properly. This is a very good sign. I can also access the service mode and I now know that the cause of the malfunction was a worn or damaged disk. Why do these disks fail so easily? Unfortunately, they are cheap and low quality. Manufacturers often install the lowest grade components to reduce costs, leaving the service technician to deal with the consequences after the warranty ends. If you wish, you can format the disk here for added assurance.